Bending a fiber cable too much never is a good idea. But why is that? Our initial impulse may be that we fear that the fiber core itself will snap or fracture, but there's another negative effect that happens far sooner that has a really big negative impact on the, the performance of the optical network. If you want to find out what it is, stick around and we'll check it out. To understand where this other negative effect comes from, from overbending a fiber cable, let's first have a look at the theory on how a light signal actually propagates through a fiber cable. Now, here on this drawing here, on the outside we've got the cladding, and on the inside we've got the fiber core with a higher refractive index. Now, the light signal comes in here and the incident angle is big enough so that we actually have a total reflection of the light signal at the interface between core and cladding. However, if we have a look here at this uh, image here at the bottom, if the incident angle is uh, too small, then we will actually not have a total reflection anymore, meaning that at least some of the light is actually passing through the cladding and isn't reflected down the fiber cable. Now, if we have a look here at this drawing, uh, this represents then the, the fiber bending. And here at the beginning, you will see that the incident angle still is big enough so that we have a total reflection. But because of the fiber bend, the incident angle of the light, light signal here at this point actually is so small that we actually end up not having a total reflection, meaning that some of the light signal uh, passes through the cladding. And the big negative effect of that actually is that that light signal and that part of the light signal that is passing through the cladding is lost, the energy is lost for the signal continuing. So in other words, we have loss of optical power. Now this effect can actually be nicely visualized uh, if we use, for example, here this uh, laser pointer, which emits a flashing red light, a visual light, and we've got a bare fiber connected to it. And if I take this mandrel, for example, and I wrap it uh, around, uh, wrap the fiber cable around here, you will actually see uh, the flashing of the light. So meaning that that is where the light signal actually is coming out of the fiber cable. Now, I, I also said that this is a loss of optical power. And to, to show you that, let's go down into the production area where we'll actually measure the optical power uh, before and after wrapping it around this mandrel. So here we are in the production area and Cora will assist us and do a, make an actual measurement of this uh, effect. Now, as you can see here, we've got a signal with a nice high amplitude, but if Cora will now start wrapping this, uh, uh, the fiber cable around the mandrel and reinitiate uh, a measurement, you will actually see that the power level of the signal is actually drastically reduced. Now, of course, you probably won't be using bare fiber. You'll probably be using cables like this. But the principle is exactly the same. If you go, go below the, the bend radius of the fiber, you will be losing quite a significant amount of uh, optical power. Now, you don't need to worry because the, the normal fiber cables, so standard fiber cables, actually they have a bend radius of up to 20 millimeters. And there are also special fiber cables that have a lower bend radius as well. So, I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. If so, please leave a comment and of course, consider following us to get your regular doses of brain snacks. So, see you in one of the next videos. Bye-bye.